Hello everybody, this is the Unjolly Green Giant, or the newly renamed Grey Wolf Games. <clears throat> I really need to adjust to my intro. Uh, just a warning before we continue, uh, this game series, when I play it at least, will contain uh, various uh, themes such as death, violence, explicit cursing, uh, excessive cursing, decompression, being thrown into space, ragdolling, more cursing, spinning spaceships, and more cursing. <clears throat> but if none of that offends you, buckle up and uh, let's get into Hellion. Uh, Hellion is a game that I found a while back. Uh, it was in early access, but the dev team uh, weren't pulling enough money uh, from the sales and had to abandon it. Uh, at least that's the reason that they gave us. Uh, however, it is still a very unique, a very, very unique game that I have yet to find um, anything like it that scratches the same itch. It's a space survival game. And, well, let's, let's get into it. Uh, there we go. Let's let's get into it and see. Uh, actually, and see what we can find. So, it is a space survival game. I have to worry about air. And well, let's get into it. So there is a bit of story to the game, as you can see. Um, the devs were in the middle of creating a story for it. Uh, they got the first chapter done. We wake up in this cryopod, and uh, I'll be quiet for the majority of this part so you can hear the voice lines. The voice actress who did the voiceovers for the tutorial lady, I believe her name was Theona. Uh, she did an amazing job. Very impressive. Her. Can anyone hear me? Um, this is Fiona Myers, first officer of Daedalus. Not that that matters anymore. But if you can hear me, I need you to trust me. The station you're in is about to fall from orbit, and you don't have much time, so grab your gear and head to the command module. You should be able to call for a rescue ship. Yeah, so she's talking to us through a radio or loudspeaker somewhere, I don't know. She's not here. Like I said, an amazing voice actress. Very impressive with it. How they did that. It was one of the games I was really looking forward to. I was bummed about. But, uh. So here's the wonderful thing it's got realistic physics, which means it's zero gravity. As long as I don't 
touch anything. I'm not touching any keys right now. And I'm drifting. Because nothing has touched me. Now in air, you will slowly slow down because there's the friction of air, but in space, there's nothing. And you have to hold on to the wall to avoid decompression. And even then, it moved me a little bit. I also love how sound changes in space. Here we are. Now I'm going to kind of zip through the tutorial because I've done it like three times. The goal of this playthrough is twofold. One, I'm trying to unlock one of the new starts. And two, when me and my buddy Straw start playing together, I want uh, us to be able to still have some sort of base set up. Regular access codes don't work anymore. And that's my fault, sorry. But there should be a hacking tool somewhere. Just try to look around. elevator too far and always check for extra gear laying around even in the tutorial like that uh, stim pack we picked up earlier useful there are automated defenses in some of these that are uh, Real kick in the nuts if you're not paying attention. It'll take a few minutes for the ship to get there, but it will get there. It's Altcorp, after all. They're the only good thing that ever happened in Hellion. Had we put them in charge, we could have probably avoided this entire mess. Anyway, head outside, just make sure you have enough oxygen. The ship probably won't have any. So that banging that you hear is the module that we're in that's obviously very, very busted. Uh, is, is short circuiting. Got right there. And if we're close enough to that, we can actually get damaged by that when it does it. We'll put that away. Let's actually go over here and search this hallway and see if there's anything over here that we can snag. There probably won't be, but it's always worth a check. Supplies in this game get very tight very quickly. Alright, where's the ship? There it is. So... I have a HUD, which is po powered by the uh, battery at the bottom of my suit. We've got the life next to the shield on the uh, left by my hands. Then you've got my oxygen and my uh, jetpack fuel on the right. And the reason I'm going so slowly, actually I'm going a little too quickly is because if I hit that ship going any faster than 9 meters per second, which you can see on the bottom under DIR, the white number by DIR, by DIR um, if I go any faster than 9, I'm likely to injure myself on impact with the ship. So, this game is very nerve-wracking but it's very rewarding when things go the way you want them to. And here's our first starter ship. All right, so you have to check the power supply and the warp drive. Oh wait, but to gain access, you'll have to register first. There's a security panel on the bridge. Yeah, this thing. 
Now the ship is mine. There we go. And we go for the Speedy Wolf as our mascot. Right there. Okay, hold on. Check for loot. Got two air cans, a drill, and all the fixings for a drill. Do we have a gun? Probably not. Nope, no gun. No. I got lucky one time and found a grenade loaded on one of these. That was, was a nice surprise. Okay, so oxygen, nitro, nitro, and oxygen. So all of these are good. Load those in there. And uh, cool. Check the power supply. Turn this. Sh turn the ship on. Deploy the solar panels. And we're just gonna leave. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly claim all the locks because we can do that. And we are playing on a live server. So. Um. Okay, so we need to find the derelict core. As, as I said, I've done this before, so I know what I'm looking for. We don't want to go to the derelict LS station. You can see what I'm aiming at on the, obviously on the screen, but on the panel that's on the bottom right, uh, whichever one's highlighted is the one that I'm trying to aim for. Uh, we obviously don't want to go for the hallway. The reason we're not going for the LS section, that's a long hallway, basically, uh, is because there's normally nothing there. Like, I've flown through it with, like at least four or five times, and there's never anything there. But there's some pretty decent loot at the derelict power station, plus there's the nanite core that we're looking for. How far away is it? Okay, cool. I can speed up to 100. In the ship, I'm willing. I'm willing to go a little faster because it slows down significantly faster. However, I do. My goal is to unlock a different starting uh, scenario, so that way I can get the other ship. Because there, there's another ship in the game that is affectionately known by the uh, player base as the Mule, and uh, it is a workhorse of a ship. It's got its own generator, it's got solar panels, it's got plenty of storage. While this one is nice, I prefer the mule over over the uh over this one. And we can look to see what we're So that's that hallway I was talking about that normally has nothing on it. But that's what we want right there. And we're drifting towards it. This game takes a little bit longer for certain things and warp takes real time. Like when I'm jumping from place to place, that takes real time. So uh, there might be some pauses and jumps in the video where I'm like stopping it. So that way you guys don't have to sit in warp for seven minutes like I do and do nothing. Uh, but it is... Uh, it is a very pretty, pretty game at times, and it's a very fun game in my opinion. Even, even with all of its bugs, and believe me, there are bugs. God, are there bugs? Let me make sure that we're still producing power. Yes, we are. Okay, good. Yes, angle of the solar panels to the actual sun matters in this, which is good but it's also a massive pain look at that it's just there's the planet that we're around that's just it's a shame that this game is never going to be finished however i do know of a resurrection project that's going on if you look you 
you can't buy the game anymore. The game is no longer for sale. However, you can, I believe, if you still, if you ever bought the game, you can still play it, and there are still official servers running, which is what we're playing on right now. There we go, that's what we wanted. Um, now I know that there's more supplies here. Yeah, there we go. Air can. So those little air cans that I'm picking up are like lifesavers. Normally I keep them loaded down with one unit of nitro and four units of oxygen. They can hold up to five. Uh, but uh, I keep them loaded with that. And those are like they pump directly into your suit. Now that, nice. So that's a refined resource container. So that's more resources than what we would have started with if we didn't grab it. And resources are always good. Now we're going to get out of the exploding hallway. And I apologize if the motions in this game make anyone motion sick or anything. I try to keep it as... <clears throat> I get motion sick myself, so I try to keep it as steady as possible. But there are some times where I'm panicking where the movements get all jumbled, shall we say. Okay, and look, there's our mascot on the side of our ship. Okay, now that we're inside. So there are difference between the nanite cores. This one's a civilian one. There are, on the map, there are wreckage fields that if you fly through, it will slowly damage your ship. However, the military one that's in there now lasts significantly shorter amount of time, but the wreckage doesn't damage the ship. Whereas the civilian you need one, to find a safe place. Check the nav map, look for an outpost or something. Anything with a stable orbit will do. Whereas the civilian one lasts significantly longer, but cannot take the same hits that uh, the mil military one can. Uh... Grab this, put it there. Oh, uh, fire extinguisher. Not that I expect to ever get into a point where I need that, but just in case. Uh, that has both in it, right? Yes, or is that just oxygen? No, that's oxygen and nitro. Cool. Uh, put that there. And we'll come over here, and we'll load those in, and we'll put this away as well. I'm a very, when it comes to this game at least, I'm very organized. I, I everything has its spot. Uh, even down to, I will load these things into yeah, actually, we'll keep that unloaded because it's got nice. It's got resources in it too. Okay. So, piloting. Warp time. Okay, listen. I know you're not a pilot or a navigator, but right now you have to be both. You need to set up and execute a warp maneuver. It might look complicated at first, but you'll see. It basically comes down to tweaking the departure and arrival times until the warp line turns green. To just point the ship in the right direction. It's not that hard once you get a hang of it. I trust you'll manage. She's not wrong. It's not difficult when you get the hang of it. However, it will not tell you if your ship is, say, going to intersect with a planet. Which is very frustrating. So we're going to warp over here, because this is where our starting base is at. So... Yeah, we're going to warp over here, because this is where our starting base is at. Uh, 
plus it's next in the quest line so right i need to click on haven i need to warp to now we don't have a warp oh i need i think seven minutes was the we don't have a there we go warp cell generator so it's going to take a lot okay. longer to do once you're in a stable orbit you'll be on your own and this is all i can do for you look hellion is not what you thought it would be or what any of us hoped for i can't even begin to explain how it all went wrong I'm, I'm not even sure if this, if all of this is real or just some crazy dream that I can't wake up from, or even if it's my dream at all. I could very well just be imagining things. <laughs> But if there is actually someone listening to me, search for my logs. It's all in there. You might be able to figure out what happened. To do what I couldn't. Perhaps even find us a way out of this. This is, or at least I think I am, Theona Myers, First Officer of Daedalus, signing off. And there we go. That's going to be... And we still have five minutes left on the warp. Or five and a half. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to pause the video. and uh, Or pause the recording. My bad. And we'll pick back up when we're at a warp. Look at the pretty colors. Alright. we got about 30 seconds till we drop out of warp. And i got to say, there is something very relaxing about watching just all of this they did very good or they did a very good job with how the warp looks sorry but bumped my mic there uh getting ready to drop out and five four three two one and there we are out of warp Now, mind you, I am on a live server, so lag will be a thing. I apologize for any amount of lag that ensues. Pointing the top of the ship towards the sun, since our solar panel is at the top. And that is our home module and airlock. So... Let's head on over there. Can go a little faster. See, that's the famous last words in Hellion, is I can go a little faster. Even though you really shouldn't. There we go. And we'll match here far enough away that I can maneuver her and not worry about things breaking. Uh, since we're heading over there, grab this, grab this. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, grab uh, this since we're about to empty it anyway. There we go. Uh, how much do you have left? 15. All right, we'll grab you as well. All 
Okay. Uh, I always get nervous when exiting my ship because there used to be this really big bug and I don't know if it's still there. But there used to be a bug where you would exit your ship and reality as you know it would cease to exist and you would just disappear into the ether glitching around constantly. And the only way to get out of that would be to die. Also, I love space. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Even that is so bright, but beautiful. Okay, we need to go over here. The first thing we need to do is... Turn the top of this... same way that the top of our ship is turned. So we need to rotate this way, right there. Yeah. Awesome. We'll shut that because we don't need it right now. Well, actually, we'll turn our targeting HUD off because we don't need it. We're close enough to everything right now. And the airlock, I believe, was somewhere over light there. It's buggered up as well, but that's fine there we go wait a minute you don't need one of those i'll take that um so the part that i just yanked out of it is a resource efficiency doohickey basically it makes it um makes it so that way it doesn't burn through resources as quickly now it's over here we need to go up not that fast actually we'll stop until we see where it's at good thing i didn't go straight up up Right there. So this is the docking screen, in case y'all couldn't tell. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the airlock module and docking it to that glowy bit right there. Or at least that's the attempt. That's the idea, is to dock it to the glowy bit. And we will rotate as necessary. So if you look underneath our task, I don't know why they put it there, but underneath our task, uh, there is something that is basically an orange circle trying to line up with a white circle. That's, well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to line the orange circle up with the white circle and create circle babies kidding not create circle babies lol um and this part a lot of people have trouble with i don't know why so many people have trouble with it it's really not that hard if you take your time because things just snap into place doesn't take all that much effort whatsoever. Okay. So, uh, 
open. Since there's no air, I can open them both. Okay, so at the bottom, the warning thing, if I were to put air in this room, the room would burst into flames, the airlock. That's because of that damaged wall panel right there. Turn our light on. Look through our lockers. Look over here, nothing. And here we are in the room. Oh, freaking awesome. There's a catalyst here already. That's awesome. A um, lot of damage stuff. Okay. First cryopod. Set spawn point. Confirm. There we go. So now, if I die, I will wake up in this pod. I mean, if I have a nightmare, I will wake up in this pod because immersion. There's a hole in the fucking ceiling. Um, yeah, and here there's an explosion warning. I would imagine that's either over there or over there. But for now, we'll put that down there. No, that there, there, that there. Uh, there it is, welding tool. And now we gotta fix our stuff. Cool, nothing's broken in there. See the fuel on the bottom left underneath the icon of the tool? Uh, it's that counting down number, the red five at the moment. Out of fuel. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Um, the reason it's dark is because I turned my suit light off. Uh, conserve power. Okay, uh, we're not done fixing things, but it wants me to move on to the next task. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix things on my way to the next task. Thank you. Uh, nothing's broken in here except for this panel that would burst into flames. Let me tell you, fire in this game is scary, but the laser defense turrets, those are scarier, at least for me. I have really bad luck with those. But me and my buddy Straw have a really convenient way to get around dealing with them okay so I need to go I remember seeing a glowy bit over here yes I did oh suit oxygen's low it's fine Solar panels don't need repaired. I think they do. I see some yellow. Yep, they need repaired. Awesome. Okay. And use the lever to deploy the solar panels. Did I not deploy the solar? Apparently I didn't deploy the solar panels. I just looked at them. There we go. That did it. That did it. Okay. So we're going to head inside. And we're going to, whoop, and we're going to power the station up, which will help me tell if there's anything else that's damaged. Because then the status panels will come back online, and we'll have some lights. They'll be red because there's no air, but we'll have light. 
There we go. Stuff is back online. You still damaged? No, we're golden. Inspect. Inspect. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I do that, that's what we need the resource injector for. Before I do that, we'll power this up. And while that's creating oxygen, we will close the outer airlock door. Um, what else was I doing? Oh, right, I need to put the resources from this. We'll unload those. That's fine. Unload. We'll wait for power to build up some before I try to refill this fire extinguisher actually I can put that there cool uh, grab this this has nothing in it now a station you're more likely to have a fire than you are on your ship so we'll keep I think we'll actually keep both of these fire extinguishers on our on our station for now because I know Pretty sure that there's a fire extinguisher mount in here. Yes, there is. Right there. Cool. I apologize for the uh, baby in the background. Uh, my little brother is, is, is unhappy, shall we say. Okay, so got about 600 units of air, and it's acting wonderfully because we put that wonderful resource injector in there so we're going to pressurize this this that wait uh stop on corridor b we don't have anything attached there we don't need to pressurize that right yes cool we'll pump air into here once that reaches four we can take our helmet off Yeah, breathable air, and the lights will change as the air gets better. And sound will gradually come back, and there's the lights. Awesome, okay. Now that that is handled, we will refill that. Uh, okay, now our suit is refilled. So here's the thing about suits. They're wonderful, but they also represent your extra lives. You run out of suits, you can't go anywhere at all. Like, you can't even get to your ship until you get the uh, mule, which actually docks to the airlock. The uh, stirrups, or what I've named the wolf's speed, will not dock to the, uh, to the station. Did I not have enough air to fill that all up? I didn't, okay. Cool, we'll let it have a little extra air. It's not got enough power. Okay. Cool. So that's what the catalyst is for, which I grabbed. I grabbed. Okay. Awesome. Uh, oh, there's a health kit. There we go. Uh, I'll actually take that to the ship with me because I'll need that on the ship. And we will put that there. And this is the one that has nothing in it, so we'll go oxygen, we'll go four, confirm. Uh, and 
nitrogen confirm there we go shite didn't mean to do that uh put that there attach point confirm oxygen confirm I like to have these loaded a specific way because of convenience if nothing else now something I have to watch is the air quality in here we don't have a do we have O2 scrubbers oh the game's lagging That's never good. Yep, there it was. <clears throat> okay, well, I gotta hop back into the game, so I will pause and we'll get you back in when I'm back in. Okay, I think we're back. Right there, air quality is something we need to pay attention to. So that glitched out before I finished this transaction, which is fine. I like to have these f filled a certain way just because it, it's, it, it, Tops off your suit nicely in a pinch. Okay. Check this. We do have O2 scrubbers. Awesome. That's freaking fantastic. While we're here, let's recharge our suit battery. So the only thing that the battery does, no HUD when there's no battery. Which is great because they used to have it before where your entire suit shut off if there was no battery you'd just be drifting your backpack wouldn't work you you would you would literally be dead in the water uh which actually hit my buddy straw one time he was floating around and then just started just just drifted off he's like huh wolf there's an issue i'm like yeah bud what is it he's like well i seem to be drifting away <laughs> So that was funny. We'll turn that on. So what the O2, what the uh, CO2 scrubbers do, or the air filter does, is if you look on the main room right over here, our air quality is at 97% because we've been sitting here breathing it. Uh, if that hits zero, we can have as much air in here as we want, but it's not breathable. Uh, However, with uh, this, with the scrubbers on, the breathability will slowly start going back up. I did pressurize the main room. That was something that I did. There we go. Wasn't registering that I'd pressurized the main room yet. Okay, cool. Uh, right, what was I doing? Um, got all those, and those are sorted. Yep, I need my... Is that charged? It is. You're gosh darn right it is. We'll close these for now. The numbers now... Oh, oh, actually, I should check to see... Yes, there are guns in this game, uh, for the odd chance that you find another player, uh, which is extremely rare. Or, the more usual occurrence of you finding an automated defense turret. Helmet. So what I'm doing right now is I'm sucking all the air out of the room so that way I don't have to deal with depressurization. And it just goes right back into the tank that's built into the station itself. So all is well and good. Now, we go back to the wolf speed so we can pick up the fabricator and raid the broken ship that's drifting out there. 
fabricator is nice because then it'll, it'll allow us to build things that we need, assuming that we have the scrap to do it, which is a godsend. Need to rotate that more. It's not in the sun all the way. Whatever. Um. Right. Oh, now I gotta put those tanks away. swap those out to the configuration that I like when I get back. Plus, I might need them later. Okay, so first stop is the Fabricator. There's a derelict corridor. How far away is that? Huh. Check that out while we're out there, too. Sometimes the corridors after the, t after the tutorial level have some stuff in them, but it's a hit or a miss as to what they've got. <clears throat> Alright, um, we're drifting over there, so I'll pause and uh, bring you back in when we're over. And we're back and a little too close for my comfort. Oh, See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention, you almost run into things. Jesus, that could have gone poorly. Okay, so we got, there's the fabricator. There's the dead ship. There's the hallway, okay. So first things first, fabricator's going to end up getting docked to us. So we're going to want to spin this around to point at the fabricator. Go slow and out. Oh, thank God. Yeah, for a while there it was a 50 50 bet on whether or not I would just vanish into the flarking ether if, uh, if I exited a ship or a station. It was a really great way to lose some suits. Like I said, the more complete suits you have, the more respawns you have. So. Those are, they're a valuable resource. I think I forgot to refill our repair tool while I was at the station. I did. That's fine. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hop in here and loot it first. Nice. Tell me you have goods in you. You do. Awesome. Ferrite's useful. Not what I would want, but it's useful. And as far as literally anything else, Nada. Okay. Uh, I can repair that much. Cool. What do you have in you? Do you have anything in you? You've got nitro. That's fine and dandy. Okay, now before we do this, since we're matched to that, I'm going to head out and drift away into the ether. Oh, look, there's the moon. God, that is so beautiful. There's the other moon. 
the two moons, you've got broken marble and burner, and burner is always burning, and broken marble looks like a broken marble. Then there's a good loot zone called uh, Everest Station around the starter planet. But uh, me and my buddy Straw have only ever been around the starter planet and the farthest planet out. And that was uh, that was a journey and a half because that entire adventure took about three hours because we ran out of power. We didn't realize that the farther away we were from the sun, the less the, the less the solar panels worked, which meant that we ended up running out of power. And with uh, both of us there breathing the air, we. Uh, we're running out of air quickly as well. So what ended up happening is I think I took my suit off and for lack of better turn killed myself so that way he had more air and could stay with the ship that was drifting. There's nothing in this hallway I don't believe unless there's scrap on the outside. If there is I'll pick it up. But, uh, he could stay with the ship that was drifting. Yeah, there is right there. Awesome. And I was able to, uh, and I was able to head back, uh, to respawn back at our base, get our second ship, and rescue him. During that adventure, however, because Straw has the luck of a retarded dog. I don't know how else to describe it. I apologize if I offended anyone there. But, uh, somehow, he glitched while we were going into warp away from the Doom planet and, uh, was teleported outside of the ship. So for the entire journey back, he was outside of the ship during warp and I believe he might still have some of the screenshots from that um, but that is one of my m favorite stories from our times playing this I apologize for the mic bump there um, here we are drifting and going. Sorry, just checking to make sure it's still recording. I think I'm going on about an hour here, so I'll uh, finish this up. Am I? Yeah. Going on about an hour here, so I'll finish this up. We'll dock the fabricator, and we'll call that a video, eh? Look, a button. So that allows us to do different warp assuming that we have a warp core and this ship has seen better days it would be nice to uh, be able to have two ships but there's absolutely nothing I can do to fix this one which is fine um, so what am I going to do with two ships but I will however check all over for any extra supplies oh there's the Warp core, I mean a warp uh, cell. No gun, no drive. Yeah, even if those seats weren't broken, you cannot sit in them in the normal game, which bugs me endlessly. Why have seats if you can't sit in them? Um. Okay. Back off to the fabricator. Yeah, there we go. About 800 meters away. We're doing pretty good on air. But yeah. Um, you have to let me know what you guys think. If you want more of this game, I'm 
gonna play it obviously i enjoy the game a lot even in its unfinished state uh however i understand if some people don't want to watch a game that's not going to be finished um so i'm probably going to post a couple videos of it on the channel and you'll all have to let me know what you think uh, so that way I know whether or not to keep posting it. Um, almost there. Aiming for the fabricator. Thunk. Uh, okay. And we will open that. Here's how we do this we rotate around until. We see the ship ah okay then we point at the ship and rotate so we're squared up with the ship so this, I'm looking through a camera that's mounted on the door that we went into when we first went in and looted it. And then I point down off the front of the ship. About there. And I look. Perfect. It's really frustrating to me that this game is never going to be finished, but as I said before, it's still an overly enjoyable game, and I love it dearly. Um, so, it's one of those things where uh, I, I pl I'll, I'll play it. It, it frustrates the crap out of me sometimes. Like, there are just some times where I'm just like, God, why won't you work? But, uh, I'll play it, and I enjoy the game significantly. This goes down here. This goes over here. Yes, I have spots for everything. That goes there. That goes there. It needs to be emptied out when we get back to the base, resource injector, it's for the RCS, that goes there, yes, ah, okay, and then open, that goes there, and then that goes there. Awesome. Okay. Forgot to put the catalyst back in the module back at home, but that's okay. Uh, I will use one of these. There we go. So now I need to dock. Yes. Okay, so we're not squared up perfectly, but it's a lot better than it was with us being on the other freaking side of it. So here's what we'll do. We'll line it up so it looks like we're straight, and then we'll lower ourselves into the correct position.
too fast. Thank you. <clears throat> What's really sucky is when it lags and controls stop responding because you'll be in the middle of doing something important because that's always how it is and then your crap just stops working. There we go. We're docked. Now back to the haven we go. Actually, let me very quickly. Uh, good, that's offline. What's going to explode in my ship? Oh, it's giving me the status of the... I forgot to hit shift. Um, it's giving me the status of the, the th thing we're docked to. It's a detonation warning. Haven. There it is. Okay, same deal as before. I'll get us pointed in the right direction. And then I'll bring you back when we get over there. See you guys in a bit. And we're back. Just pulling in, getting ready to dock. a little bit more this way basically we're looking for no red on the screen when we dock things red on the screen normally means bad things unless it's th these lines in the center those can be very various small blips and blops but uh yeah faster because we're not heading towards it and then after we get this docked we'll angle her okay there's the input lag I was talking to you about yeah see that was that's what that was that was not terrifying in the slightest That is exceptionally horrifying when it happens, especially when you're close to things. <sighs> and you just have moments of just sheer panic. And we'll look a bit this way. There we go. Door. So we will begin our drift. Point three meters per second may not seem fast, but as far as docking goes, it's pretty speedy. There we go. Docked. flashlight off uh, pick that back up oh I need to take this inside close this that's fine that's fine everything in here is fine oh uh, since we're going to be logging off so here's the bad thing about this game is when I log off all of my stuff stays in the world including me so I always try to log off inside of wrong door. Inside of my cryopod. Because when I'm in my cryopod, I'm not using air. Like I'm not breathing any of the air that I would otherwise be using if I was active. Because that was one thing in early games one of the randoms that I used to play with before he stabbed me in the back, he logged off inside of his ship one time and logged back on the next day only to find out that he suffocated in his ship because he breathed up all the air. That was an annoying instance to figure out. Close that. Power 
that on. Uh, inner door. We're gonna have to depressurize the main room. So I can go repair. Inspect. That's a higher tier one. What tier is that? That's a tier two one, which is good. So it's at the same, con it's lower condition than everyone else, but it's still got a, about 12 days on it. So, yes, and that is real time days, not game days. Um, right, I need to refuel. That. I need to put that in there. Attach point unload. And actually, I don't know that ferrite I will need to be defined first. Okay, and we're going to take about half of that and put that in there. And we're going to need to kick the oxygen generator back on. up. I mean, uh, get air in the whole base. Or at least be able to get air in my ship. Um, cool. So, refinery, unload, attach point, no, refinery, reload, confirm, refine, attach point. One. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just reloading my repair tool. There we go. And I will need to depressurize the main room. Actually, just depressurize the whole thing. had to deal with like three or four fires and they're a real pain in the butt to deal with okay. yes I know we're at explosion risk I'm aware of the explosion risk please stop telling me about the explosion risk thank you open it won't open because I was standing to open thank you Open. Open. Nothing. Fix. Should be, assuming that we have enough air for everything. Hopefully we do. That'll be our next thing, is to go get more resources so that way I can continue on with my objective of uh, 
getting enough of everything for everything. That made so much sense. Great job. Uh, unload. More ice. Confirm. Dry ice. Confirm. Nitrates. Confirm. We'll be fine. Thank you. And we'll put that back on there. Attach point and we'll refill it again. Now she's full. Okay. So we gotta repair the stuff on the outside. While did every did I have enough air for everything? I did mostly. Okay. That's fine. Just pump a little bit more. Okay. Let's try it now. Is that enough? You, uh, you bet your bippy it is. It's barely, barely enough. But it was enough. And since that stuff was low, put about one, two, five. There we go. Confirm. And we'll put. Six. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I, but I like even numbers. Makes me happy. Point five. Confirm. Point. Point five. Confirm. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. Refinery, unload. Oh, yep, there it was. Almost done, guys. Promise. Pausing. And we're back. Oh, gotta love it when that just glitches out like that. Refinery, unload. Thank you. Reload, confirm. Fine. Uh, okay, and then another thing I want to do before I go is refill that. Okay, cool. So, run outside to push repairs. Solar panel booster doohickey, i.e. the catalyst, into the solar panels, and we gotta rotate the ship. Not the ship. We gotta rotate the entire station, so that way it's pointing towards the sun. So we're getting maximum power. First off, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that. Thank you. R. R. We're gonna slow. Rotate. That's exactly what we're doing. Is we're slowly rotating. I think that's about on point. It's better than it was. Okay. And then next on our list is this solar panel booster doodad. And 
that, little sucker. Hold on. First, I'll close this little. There we go. That little guy goes right in there. And boom, solar panels. Uh, I think that boosts their efficiency by a certain amount, depending on what level it is. If I remember correctly, that's what it does. Before, you, this stuff used to not work if you didn't have the right parts. Now it just works, but at horrible efficiency. Uh, fix that. And I apologize once again for the child in the background. Um, my brother has apparently just woken up from a nap. Maybe. Uh, we'll do an server and check the bottom. Awesome. Okay. So we gotta put... that case back. I know, forgot to do it while I was on the ship, that's my bad. And since the ship has no air in it, don't need to worry about pressurizing or depressurizing. Pick that up. Pick that up. Thank you. Military core is there for when we go scavenging. Those are, f well, one of them is not. That one's not. This one's fine. This one's fine. This one is empty. Okay, and my brother is getting progressively louder, which means that it's getting closer and closer for me to end the recording, which I said I was going to end roughly 17 minutes ago. I apologize for the extra long video, but I really wanted to uh, get started. Um, so yes, we are uh, heading back into the station, and uh, that will be the end of this video, guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, didn't like the video, uh, you know where the thumbs down button is, but also please leave constructive criticism as to how I can improve. Um, this has been Grey Wolf Games, signing off.